Alright brand folks, this is the Black Weasel and this is my video game review of Radia Stories for the PlayStation 2. I got this game on a, on sale from eBay because I was browsing around and this game happened to not to be not available as a digital download on the PlayStation Store so I had to buy this uh, game physically. Uh, this was after I bought a brief fancy Musashi and started playing that, that game. But eventually some um, parts got... But eventually I got around towards uh, buying this game as well on a spur of a moment. Radio Stories is an action role playing game about how a teenager named Jack wants to become a powerful knight just like his father and follow in his footsteps. He was able to join the Knights of Radia, Radia alongside a girl named Ridley Silver Lake and Gaines Rothschild. Gaines is a, the son of a powerful knight just like Jack, and so these guys are put in a brigade to make a name for themselves. While that is happening, there's some sinister forces occurring in the background that will test Jack Russell's capabilities to his limit. The way this game plays done by Radia Stories is in the way of a sandbox style beat em up hacking the fan with my comrades. There is a max party of four guys including the main man Jack himself. I cannot control the three other guys since I can only keep control of one person at a time. I can defend no I can defend myself no problem by holding on to the square button while my buddies can do the attacking for me. So the turn based parts that I would expect from other games is gone. One thing that I was familiar with is the concept of talking towards lots of people around the world in order to recruit them towards my cause. I have played Sweet Gooden 1 and 2 and I am familiar with the recruiting uh, part. There is voice acting in this game and it is not really corny. The cutscenes are longer than I would expect from a game that came out in 2005. It is a nice cool uh, journey. It's not that serious and there's some funny moments of this game that I like that just revolve around the characters of the main uh, kingdom. With Jack running around the kingdom and the world itself, it feels feels like it's alive with people that have different traits and personalities. I have come across uh, jackasses that are buggers as hell towards Jack while I have met some alright people. Uh, another good part of it is the night and day scene that changes if given enough time. Certain types of guys hang out at night then when it's the morning I see morning guys running around. I like the graphics. It's pretty good and the fighting doesn't get boring even if uh, when I'm just surrounded by a bunch of baddies while my buddies are hanging around and fending them off. It's more exciting that way. I had a lot of fun playing uh, radio stories, but there's some obvious problems with it that, that have no problem revealing itself. It's a good game, but there's not enough from it that it stands it's a, itself out from the better role playing games that came around 2004 and towards 2006, such as Dragon Quest VIII and Kingdom of Hearts uh, 2. It took a couple pages pages from other uh, games like Sweet Gunnin uh, 1 and 2, but um, what Radia has, like at least this game has this humor cut out for it, and the music is at uh, tight. I'll give Radia Stories um, an 8.5 out of 10. I have played this game on May 13, 2019, and I finished it on June 17, 2019. It has taken me over 40 hours to finish this game. Final showing.